and I want to give you today a hat tutorial. I am going to show you the difference in fabrics between spring headpieces and autumn headpieces. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what we wore for spring. Spring we have straw, we have cinema. These are now not to be worn as we're in the autumn months. So we've started in March, autumn, these have got to go away. There's also a fabric called silk akbar abaka. Some people may say it's transseasonal. I still say it's more of a spring piece. This is beautiful, beautiful, one of my favorite pieces of Neil Breeze. And this is all lace. Now lace can be worn all year round. It just depends on what it's with. In this case, it's got silk and it's got cotton fabric. So it's spring, it's got to go away. So what are we going to wear now for autumn? Leather. It's a really good choice. Now why I'm so passionate about leather is it actually can be worn all year round. But I guess my preference is that it is worn winter and not spring. So now's the time to bring out the leather and you can do it in all sorts of, all sorts of shapes and sizes and it's just amazing. And especially with something that's on some wire. These, these can all be moved around. You can play around with this hat. It's a really good piece. That one's from Leone Apps um, and I really recommend something like this always in your wardrobe. Of course we bring out the feathers. This is a Neil Gregg from many years ago. God love him. And um, it's still, you can still put this on your hair. There's no reason why you can't. Feathers. Love feathers. Always great for autumn. The main contender we're looking at in, um, in autumn is felt. So you'll see a lot of felt. Felt is like it's fluffy and it's like quite thick. Um, the texture is thick. Um, you can wear all colours. They've got some beautiful col colours in felt. So I would strongly suggest the base of your headpiece is always felt for autumn. And while we've still got the summer, uh, this beautiful summer, summer sun, it may not be appropriate um, if you're heading out to the races and it is an autumn wear, but I love fur. It's one of my favourite fabrics. So I always bring out my fur for winter, which is then in May. So that's probably heading more to your Brisbane Carnival when it's a little bit cooler. Or Scone Cup. Often at Scone, you'll have a really cold, um, uh, cold weather. Bring out your fur. So I hope that helps you understand the difference between what you wear for spring, what you wear for winter or autumn, and um, get it right, girls, because if you want to go in fashions on the field, you've really got to have the right fabric. And I'll see you at the races.